Hello everyone and welcome back to Resident Evil 4 Part 10. As we last left off here, we just held another attack on in a cabin here. Louis, we met with Louis Serra. And now we got two different paths to take here. First one here is the one to the right here. We're facing up against an El Gigante, another one. Yeah, there's different ways we can kill him, but also the problem is though, you're, you're basically have Ashley here, meaning if the big guy grab her and kill her, and slams her down the ground and kill her, it's in fail. And this part here is, well, it's kind of short here. Okay, let's proceed, and there's the big guy himself. Ooh. I think if you knock it down, that's how much stun, that pretty much does a little bit of damage and stun him. So anyway, uh, Ashley, please hurry up. And Ashley gets grabbed here. Uh... Okay, then if that, yeah, it was about to get closer, we can use. Nope, as I get closer. Oh. Um. Ah, worked. Anyway, I keep, I keep showing a clog at the same time. I thought that actually did work. Anyway, then also increase her health. Keep showing. Keep shooting at the big guy here so he goes down. Okay. Shoot a plugger again. And there he goes. Take up an hour 10,000. Yeah, about 15,000. Probably gonna go. I mean, make sure everything's here. Alright, here's a knife. And we got a couple of traps to deal with. Same little small cabins here. And that's one way of back to get into the location. And the next part here. And this is actually just two parts here I, I kind of merged together here. Did this part here with El Gigante. Went back over there to the cabin. And the part. And started a new recording session here. Anyway, there's a piece of treasure over there. And, and there's another boulder. Which does only but block the path. There's a piece. Oh, there's a treasure on that bucket right there. So we have here a, a purple gem for the mask. There we go. This cabin here. It's not, oh, there's, and have the key to get to the door. And we're basically at, at the end. Well, we're pretty much at the end here of this, well, this whole chapter, this whole location here. Put down this, this box, see what we have, more money. Okay, that's everything, that's everything here. There's nothing there. Let's use the key, get out of here. Items being kind of full, so let's get buying some items. Couple gem to here. Now I got one more gem left for the mask, and one more piece for the um, beer slime. In that cabin, you can actually there's a safe, there's a type item you can save. So let's look around here. Anything good to pick up? There's the merchant. Basically, the note that's saying that Chief Mendes, um, basically, he's saying that if we wait for the, the egg to hatch here, and both of them, he's gonna kill us all. Anyway, so the only way to get through the door is he, as someone called, referred to his eyes. His, you know, the door won't open to for his eyes. Anyway, so we have here some more money. Talk to the merchant. Nothing good. Alright. And let's head back here. Hmm. 
and this is the end of the air part and this is where we're back at the beginning of the cabin I'm about to do the other one the left path left path is basically no big bosses but there are too many bosses two chainsaw sisters the villa, the villa sisters and a whole lot of ganados at the end of the enemies right there's a, and of course another piece of, there's another piece of treasure there you can get Okay, well, tell Ashley to hide in here and basically we can deal with all the enemies without having to worry about her. Get the window a good chunk of them shows up. Or will we not? Yeah, there's a couple of enemies we can worry about. And there's one there's one part in the, in the end of this little case in this path here. There's a whole bunch of them that's gonna be bunched. They're pretty much gonna oh, bunch up. Uh, Leon. Okay, there he goes. Yep. No, no plaga here. Okay, first and first, deal with all the deal with all the Ganados. Not the only enemy type in this game here in this location. The Ganado. Basically, the, the villagers. I see you. And I get hit again. So, let's see them. Oh, there. Oh, you can actually do it. You can actually keep down the ladder. Yeah, I'm missing that. Anyway, let's wait for them here to grab the ladder and climb back up. Well, I'm going to show a shot here, then he can get the thing grab by here. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, let's see. Well, there's no one here. This area's been cleared. So, there's still some enemies around. Inventory's getting kind of full. Come on. Now, kick, kick her. Kick him too. There goes his head. All right, there goes all the enemies. Let's go trigger the boss fight. Or the mini boss. Nope. Spoke too soon. He'll go. Check out a couple of them in here. Uh oh. Well, now I gotta do a parasite here. Oh, I have a few shots here to the head. Well, where the, ten where the tentacles are coming out here. And there. Can't get that enemy. Okay, well. Let's get this ladder here. We're going to use it to get out of there. That's the. Nope. Alright, go around. Have a shotgun just in case. We're dealing with a couple, with a couple of chainsaw enemies. Uh oh. And one of them have the key. That's the first sister and hmm, where's the other one? Okay, that's one. And we gotta deal with a whole bunch of ganados. So let's pick so first and first let's pick a good location here we can just funnel them. And let me deal with them accordingly here, one by one at a time instead of being surrounded. Oh, here it comes. Okay, that's one sister. There's the other one. Uh, hi there. Alright, it was, it was a flame grenade. So we'd like to pistol. Deal with our friend over there. Alright, well, we got no 
a flame grenade. Do some damage to the scissor and back to the old shotgun here. Not dead yet. Ah, came back at the same time. There goes one, and there goes two. We got another ruby from her, and we got the necklace for the camp here. Now let's go take a look at this book casing here, find another or the last piece of treasure. Oh, two more items left to deal with. And, well, there goes lots of the enemies, except for the next location we're about to leave this place. Anyway, yeah, the key is to, well, use the key here. Let's lock the door. Next location here, though, there's a little hut nearby. Into that, we get access to the treasure. There's more money. Some more, well, some more money. Last grenade and the red gem. And I believe the mass, the, the elegant mass is now finished. Is now done. Let's see, first and first, let's go trigger this last location here, and yep, or or get Ashley here and tell her to stop here. Uh, she has a climb to a low. She has a climb here. She has an app to come down to a location, so we're pretty much good here. First of the TMP and that lives. Flame grenade. Okay, another flame grenade. Transfer off the shotgun just in case enemy gets close here. Ow! And I got hit in the back. Okay, hoping it's gonna spot a fog I don't yes, spot one. Two more left. Not time for this, there's a frost grenade and pick up everything that's being dropped by all the treasure. Kick. And that's it. Path is clear. We've got a couple. Well, we've got a couple more bells here to worry about. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot you had the in there. Can't, can't proceed. There she is. And that's both location. That's both path cleared out. We've got both treasure and both location. Can, do I sell them or not? I think later on the playthrough, I'm going to start doing that. I'm selling all the treasure. Okay, nope. There's no barrel here, but in both of them. Okay. Let's grab that. More pistol ammo. And some more money. Both floors of bars, so we have to go one. And with that. Both locations have been cleared out. Let's proceed. That door in front of it is we have to get to it. Let's 
Very quickly. Yeah, I believe, oh yeah. Make sure everything's nice and reloaded. Because the next part here, we're gonna have a bit of a boss fight. Okay, next to the team. Yeah. Alright, see you guys next part in part 11. See you there. Yep, that's our next goal up to the gondola. You guys in part 11. Bye.